Hey loves and welcome back to my channel and another episode of Dating in DC, a sip and share. You guys, this time it's a little bit different. Mr. Case in Point is here and if you don't remember who Case in Point is, he has been on my blogs, you've read his blogs, you've seen him on this channel, Love Tales Shorts, you've seen him on my IG Live, but today you guys, he is here with his fiance. Yes, my boy has gotten engaged, found his hole forever, okay? <laughs> In DC, a place where you thought it could probably never happen. All right. So you guys, today, the two of them are going to be sharing, you know, what it takes to find the one and how you keep that spark alive and things of that nature. So we are going to be sipping. We're going to be sharing. We are going to be celebrating. Stay tuned. So you guys, today, as I mentioned before, I'm sitting here with my homies, um, almost like family, brother and sister. Case in point is what he's being called and his beloved fiance, Amore. Cheers to you guys and you, your new endeavors and your home hey. and your beautiful, beautiful union. Hey. And to 2021, may it bring health, wealth, joy, and abundance for us all. Hey. I like that. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> Same to you. So welcome yeah. to the set of Love Tales Sip and Share. Hey, thanks. thanks for having us, Corey. Definitely. Okay, so I'm going to get into the questions, but tell me first, <laughs> how you guys feeling? How has your 2020 been, as we discussed prior to taping? I ain't seen y'all in a year. Yeah, I know. So yeah, how has things, how have things been? I think they've been good, actually. 2020 has been great for our relationship. It's been great for work, able to get a lot of things accomplished, whereas everyone else has been struggling and it's been sad, but we've been blessed. We've been very blessed mm -hmm. in 2020. I can, Very blessed, yeah. Very I can honestly blessed. say the same. I have it. Everybody I love and care about, mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. um, praise the Lord, I'm still working. Mm -hmm. um, my love life is struggling, but that's okay. Oh, we don't die. Um, <laughs> 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 but other than that, like, I'm like, you know, 2020 has not been a disaster for me. Right. I, my heart goes out to those who, where, who have had that struggle and who mm -hmm. have lost people. But I'm definitely grateful that I'm here to see another year, given that I make it through the next 48 hours. So tell me about the proposal. Hmm. Y'all tell me. Tell me what you want to tell me. I'm not going to ask you anything. <laughs> tell me about the proposal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So I guess I'll tell the story. Yeah, Since you tell I did the story. The it was you. She probably yeah. don't remember because she just did nothing but cry. <laughs> Uh, so she wasn't listening to anything, but you know, I'm gonna get to that. So first off, had to do the right thing. So I went and talked to her dad like two days before. Like, so my idea for the whole proposal was I wanted to go into our house engaged. Mm -hmm. um, so we were moving in, I think the 7th of December. I didn't want to do it on uh, Thanksgiving because that's too cliche. So I was like, uh, I want to do it before the 7th. And it just felt right um around like november 21st 22nd to go ahead and do it so that thursday um i had went talked to her pops asked for his blessing uh that was really cool like i saw her pops get emotional and everything so that was really touching we both had a moment i was like all right bet like this is gonna go well i was highly nervous about that but proposing to her i wasn't nervous at all because i knew what she was gonna say um, what if she would hit you with? Psych. So anyway, Saturday comes up, and it's kind of like a spur of the moment thing, uh, but it's crazy how God works. So uh, I prayed about it that Saturday morning. I left my, my condo to go meet up with her, and my neighbor had actually, I ran to my neighbor, and she was like, hey, you know, uh, I, like she mentioned the engagement. And she was just like, like hey, are you, are you engaged yet? Or something like that. And when are you going to pop the question? And I was like, okay, this is crazy because I had just prayed. And then here comes my confirmation. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, actually, I was going to do it today. Because uh, my whole idea was I want to do it outside uh, in our, around our home. Because there's this area that we have um, that we used to frequent, take some food out there, eat, uh, talk, and just look at the future talk about the future, about how we will live right across the street and build our life out there. So I wanted to do that, but surprise her so that she doesn't know that it's coming. So <clears throat> we planned the whole picnic thing. Um, and I was going to meet up with her, got that confirmation. I was like, yeah, I got to do it. And the weather was supposed to be relatively I was, nice. That was my next question. Was it cold? Yeah, no, it was <laughs> like, uh, like, 60. like 
yeah, low low sixties, mid fifties, overcast. Mm-hmm. So I was like, dang, maybe the sun will come out. Anyway, meet up with her, pack up the uh, little cooler with some drinks, some food, this, that, and the third, some knickknacks, and then some games, and then we go out to uh, to that area that I was telling you about. So we go out there. It's literally you can see our house from there. Uh, so mm-hmm. we go out there. We're chilling, having a good time. There's a bunch of kids in the background. It was right next uh, to a playground. Yeah, it's right next to a playground. I, I think I saw it in back of the picture. It looked yeah, like probably, it was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the type of ring she wanted was a scallion, scallop, scallop, scallop type ring. It's the type of setting or band. And I remember when we went and looked at rings together, and she was like, "I want a scallop ring." I was like, "The only scallops you can get are the ones that you're gonna eat." So, <laughs> so anyway. So I remember that's, that. That's so, so, that's that's so sound like me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we sitting there, we're we're eating and everything, playing games, and uh, I bring out a dish. I was like, "Yeah, I got di- I made something. You want to try it out?" She's like, she "Told right, me it was cool. meatloaf." Yeah, well, whatever. I told it was meatloaf. <laughs> I said it was meatloaf. Because if I said scallions, scallops, she might have got it. So anyway, I said it was meatloaf. I put it in Until front. Until you of her. opened it, she opens it. She's like, "That's not what's meatloaf? that? Scallions or scallops?" <laughs> And I was like, yeah, scallops. She was like, why'd you make scallops? And I was like, well, I thought it would go good with this. And I pulled out the ring. And she was like, okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Bam, tears instantly. <laughs> Gone. Okay. Got it. So, did you expect anything? No, I didn't. That's perfect. I didn't. So, I think that's why it hit me so, like, quick. Like, I mean, I knew I was going to get a ring at some point. At some point. You just didn't know when. I just didn't know how. when. And this was a typical thing that we do. Have these little picnics, play games, drink wine. So it was nothing else out of the ordinary. We had, actually, I did do my makeup that day. I had <laughs> some, some mascara. Yes, you did. I did. I had mascara Before, on. Yeah. But we had on, like, hoodies and, like, mm-hmm. sweatpants. Like, it was just a typical day. And first off, I was not on my knees. I was in Indian style. <laughs> Indian style looking down at these scallops and I was like scallops he was like yeah I thought it would go good with this so I look up and that's when he's on the knee with the ring and literally like I didn't even have a moment to think just pure tears but like really? like happiness yeah no and then I guess he said I said what <laughs> as I'm crying and then work. he's just like uh, babe can you stand up because he's on the knee and I'm down here so I go and stand up, and he was like, will you marry me? There was no other speech needed, nothing. Like, will you marry me? Of course, yes. Put it on. Waterworks. Mascara everywhere. Mm. That's beautiful. You did a good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thanks, Corey. How do you keep the spark? Like, So you say you always go have a picnic, play games, things of that nature, and talk about your future, which is beautiful. Um... So, yeah, how do you keep the spark? Quality time, <laughs> literally. It's just quality time. Just it's... him and I spend some time together. We turn off the TV. We'll play games. We yeah, we don't really watch TV at all. When we like realize we that TV, like when we would like lay in bed and turn on the TV, we're not doing anything. You're not saying nothing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, we realized that, what, like a year ago? I think he's the one that brought it up, actually. Realize that, and so we don't really watch TV unless we decide together that we want to watch like a movie mm-hmm. and what kind of movie. And then most of the time, we'll pause and talk. We're sitting here talking, yeah, not about the movie, we're just, just talking, talking about whatever, yeah. So, yeah, which is kind of cool because then it's like, all right, babe, we're gonna have to watch we gonna finish yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're sitting yeah. having our own conversation. So, yeah, quality time and the things we do for quality time, like we used to do that, uh, just like playing dates. Um, Especially when COVID hit, it's kind of hard to go out. Um, so you stay in, playing dates, go get you some food, set it up, uh, set it up in the house, like the little seafood platter that we've done before. Start cooking meals together, mm. just sit down, enjoy each other's company, and talk. Talk about your day, talk about your life, talk about your future, talk about your past. We really talk about the past a lot uh, because that like always brings back the memories of when we, things first happened, when that spark was first ignited. So it's always good to keep those memories alive, talk about those and how much we've grown and uh, developed and like, grown together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just making sure that throughout work, uh, which both of us had a very hectic year at certain times, but very successful year, uh, but through work, like you're still making time for each other, uh, that quality time, whether it be for an hour, 
five minutes or a whole day. You guys like believe in love languages? Yes. Uh, yes. Quality time and, and physical, physical touch. touch. Okay. For both quality of you. time yeah. and physical touch is my number two. Her number one is physical touch and number one, two is quality time. Okay, yeah. so that works perfectly. Perfect. So you talk each other's language. Y'all, that yeah. is so important. Ooh, it's a so lot important. easier when y'all both have the same one. When ones. you both have the same one. Yeah. It's a lot easier when you know yours. Because I dealt with a man. Oh, shoot. Here <laughs> we go. Don't know. Like, he swore his his love language was physical touch. And I was like, if it was physical touch, you it would be like this, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and I'm like, no, I really honestly think yours is words of affirmation. Mm. Because, I, well, one time he said to me, he said, you'll ever compliment me, compliment me. And I was like, oh, my bad. But then I was like, oh, so you want me to compliment you? And it was other little things like that he would say and he would compliment. He he would say like things to me, like words of affirmation wise. So I told him I was like, I think your love language is mm-hmm. words of affirmation. He swore up and down I was wrong. I didn't know I was talking about grades, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. That's when you should just have him take the test yeah. right there. I should have. We've done it that. twice, just to see if it's changed. Yeah. Someone's gifts got a little bit higher. <laughs> I mean, they say. <laughs> and all of a sudden, now he wants some gifts. <laughs> it went from like a one to a. Five, so. <laughs> it's still the lowest. The only reason he was ever in the picture, and I'll be very honest, is because Brian was like, I think he has a lot of love to give. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll go easy. Oh, now. is that dude? Y'all yeah. still together. What dude is this? The Can one I met during quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the beginning of yeah, quarantine. Yeah. It, was, yeah, it was May. Yeah, it was May. Like he was really upfront about his stuff. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, I was like, I don't, yeah. yep. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little too forward about exactly. Stuff. I was and like, she was getting thrown off. Like, yeah, he sounds like he got a lot of good. Yeah. yeah, he different now. He also sounds like he does need it words of affirmation. I would definitely exactly. think that's exactly love language. Not knowing him like that, but from what you told me and his background, yeah, mm-hmm. I can see that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he needs words of affirmation. He just don't know himself that well. I don't think, but. You know, that's not me yeah. to determine. That's my journey. <laughs> Anywho. Do you know yours? <laughs> yeah, mine is quality time. I had all of mine, like three of them um, rank, rank the same. But Three? Yeah. Thank you. But the uh, top cool. one was acts of service. And I do like people oh, to do really? stuff for me. And I really? do like doing stuff for other people. Yeah. Um, I also like spending time. And then my other one was worth, worth affirmation. But yeah, those three. And they all three scored the same. They all three scored the same. Jeez. When you're consistent, um, you know what you want. You want a, a variety of things. Uh huh. I thought that was like I say all my love language. Though. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> so, but I don't. Well, with words of affirmation, I will kind of, probably kind of beg to differ just a little bit because um, people usually who have acts of service tend to not say much. They just do. Yeah. Mm. So, and I noticed that I just do. I'm like, I don't know where that came from. Maybe I just like to hear the stuff because I don't necessarily do the stuff. And I know that about myself. Um, but I will do. You ask me to do anything for you, I will. Or I just do it without you asking, whatever. Um, but then, turn, I kind of want you to do it for me. So. Yeah. It's got to mm-hmm. be reciprocal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the way I understand love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. But that's awesome that you... Speak each other's language because yeah. that's also rare. I, I think. would say so. Yeah, because a lot of times people have so. to work to yeah. speak the other person's language, and for you guys, it comes naturally. I've always said it's been easy, and that's probably why. That's probably why. Well, it's probably part of well, the reason. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> still work. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned um, one of the things you guys do is you like to talk about, you know, when you guys first met. So tell me that story. In April 2018, we have a mutual friend, and she had posted a picture on Instagram. I seen it, I saw him in it, and I was like, mm, who's that? So I reached out to her, I was like, hey, who's that in your photo? She was like, oh, that's Brian. I was like, what's up with him? He's single and ready to mingle. And I was like, bet, hook it up. So supposedly, the story goes that she told him, and he said, bet, hook it up. Yeah, supposedly she told me. I was at BJ's, it was on a Monday night, she told me. Yeah, it was so... So that, that's it. That's all that happened. So I was like, all right, what's going on here? Like, I'm trying to meet this guy. I'm trying to find out what's going on. Nothing happened. Come like June, I think it was like June or July. 
Yeah, of 2018. So fast forward three or four months. I was like, let me just start following him on Instagram. Let me be a creep. So I just went ahead and followed him. He ain't reach out. Oh, man. That's a but he followed creep. me back. I followed you back like a month or two later. Like a month later. Then he follows me back. I know who you were. Acting like you don't know who I am. So August 17th. So we remember the dates. August 17th, he was in San Antonio for work, and he had posted a story, which he never posts on Instagram, like, Ever. at all. Never. Ever. So he posted a story, <laughs> and it was a food in this place called Papado's. Shout out to Papado's. I love Papado's. Oh. It's one of my favorite seafood restaurants. And I didn't understand it because it's coming from the DMV area. We know seafood. And how was a place in... No crabs. Houston, exactly. Yeah, how was a place... DMV. How would a place in Houston or San Antonio, wherever in Texas, know about it? So I ate there. It was amazing. Anyways, I, I was like, all right, let me shoot my shot. So I sent him a DM on that story at exactly 12.01. I didn't know the time was at 12.01, but 12.01. Like, oh, Papa Do's. That's, my favorite. That's one of my favorite places. He said he got it instantly, but then I was like, I can't respond instantly. So Ooh, I gotta wait. Play. Go ahead. <laughs> so I gotta wait. So he responded like 6 a.m. Yeah, it was pretty early the next morning. It was morning. early in the morning. So he responded and he was like, Oh yeah, they got a real good buffet. You ever had it? And I was like, No, I haven't had their buffet, just a regular thing. And then he goes, By the way, how do we know each other? Okay, pause you there. You responded at 6 a.m. Well, that was still anxious. That, that was still anxious. Uh-huh. I'm like, you that means you did it the first. I mean, as soon as you woke up, so it wasn't like you could have seen it and it'd be like, uh-huh. Or you could have did it the first thing in the morning. Either way, it goes, you you, it, you look the same. Continue, I'm sorry. Oh, there's no question there. You're just going to attack No, that was a comment. <laughs> that was a comment. I can't tell you why. No. <laughs> Continue, Ray. So he was like, by the way, so how do we know each other? Or like, yeah, how do we know each other? And I was like, we don't. <laughs> I was really like, we don't. I was like, we got a friend in common. That's about it. But he knew exactly. He was just trying to play it. Yeah. Play yeah. It off. So yeah. after that moment, I mean, we our messages were like this long, like back and forth, and it was never like, "What are you up to? How are you doing?" Blah blah blah. It was just really long, in depth messages. So finally, he asked for my number. I gave it to him, and I think like two weeks later, about. About two weeks later. It definitely wasn't two weeks later. Because remember, you kicked me to the curb to go practice. Right. So about a week later, he asked me to go on a date. He wanted to meet up and go on a date. And I told him I couldn't because I was going bowling. And he was like. Practice. <laughs> I'm on a bowling league. I was going, that was my next question. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a bowling league. Clear, clear that I'm up. on a bowling <laughs> league. And he's like, uh, you want to meet up tonight and go out on a date? And I was like. Can't, like, I got, I got bowling. It wasn't tonight and go out on a date. Was, I'm not a last minute dude. Don't, don't throw me out there like that. <laughs> Days in advance, I hit you up and said, like, Thursday. Let's go out. Was it Thursday? That was a Tuesday. It was some day. And he was like, I might go practice bowling. So he was real hurt. Mm. He was real salty about that. That I chose to go bowling. Practice. Then to go out on a first date with him. I mean, he made me wait. I hear that. So I had to make him wait. Amen. Everything in God's time. Take notes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think like two days later, we actually went out on our first date. And it was like instant connection. There was no awkwardness, like staring at each other, staring at like the menu, watching the TVs at the bar, nothing. Uh, we went for a happy hour, had a couple drinks, had tacos. And then I think we were there for what, like two hours. We were there for a while. And he goes, I actually have a part two. Do you wanna, do you wanna do that? Mm. Okay. Take notes. So t- tell them. I ain't taking no notes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, yeah. And then she was like, he was like, we ended up parking <clears throat> like two spots away from each other in Tyson's Mall. Like you could have parked mm-hmm. anywhere, and we parked like right by each other. And he was like, do you want to drive? you want to follow me? Or do you want to ride with me? He's like, I promise I won't kill you. And I was like, I'll ride with you. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> I probably would have too. I ain't going to take no that. 
So we get to our next destination, which is in Alexandria, and it's called the boardroom. Shout out the boardroom. So you walk in, and to the right, it's all board games. I was going to say, I think I've heard of the boardroom if, I'm not, if I haven't been there. So it's, okay. it's a bunch of board games, got a bar, bar too. I haven't been there. Yeah. I heard of it. Okay. okay. It's a really dope place, and it just so happened that on that Wednesday, it was free games. So we didn't have to pay for nothing. So I did not know. So I did not know. <laughs> so he said. Let's clear this up. So I he did says. not know. Yeah. But I'm grateful. So we go there. That's God. And I loved it because he listened to me because I love playing board games. So how dope was it that Ooh. on our first date? Ooh. Can you say that again for the people out there that are taking notes? He did what to you? He listened. Man. Gotta listen. It's okay after this one stops. Gotta listen. So, play board games. Keep in mind, first date. Probably like an hour into it, this older couple comes up to us and was like, we've been watching y'all. They love watching us. They love watching us interact with each other. Mm. And it's we're like, sitting here. so much fun. Like, y'all yeah. are a great couple. Yeah, y'all are a great couple. Like, we've just been sitting here watching how y'all interact. And I was like, I just met him. <laughs> but we did we it. Didn't say that. We didn't, we say, didn't say it to him. We just said thanks. Yeah. But it was, that was our thought. We should have been like, why, what do you yeah. see that we don't see? You know, like we felt it, but what does it look like? You know, you'd be so, watching yeah. people yeah. on the outside, and you're like, mm, they're definitely on the first date, and they are not getting along. Yeah. Good. You know, so it was dope. Yeah. It was dope. It and then we were like, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> but I guess they saw something. That is interesting. Actually, it's not, to me, this is just me. Um, I don't know about everybody else, but to me, it sounds divine. Um, and because for one, you ain't let up. No. So what was it about him that you didn't let up? Oh, I was physically attracted to him. But then <clears throat> knowing that he snowboarded, like it's very rare to find people that snowboard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we've already got an activity that's in common. And we had, like, some of the same friends in common. So I was like, you know what? I want to keep pursuing this. There's something about him. If my friends think he's cool, then I'll probably think he's cool. That was smart, clearly. Well, this, is, <laughs> this is where we are. <laughs> Fast forward. So I'm, I'm like, something was clearly speaking to your spirit. Yeah. Some, you know. So my first date was September 5th of 2018. Keep in mind, I, I hit him back in April trying to figure things out. September 5th, 2018 is the best day of our lives. We actually, our relationship anniversary is January 1st. And we, cliche. we actually, yeah, it's cliche. I was mad. <laughs> January oh. 1st of 20, no, after 19, we met. yeah. Okay. It was right after we met. Mm-hmm. He, you know, he had me hang out with Corey first, see how that worked out. Corey? Corey. 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 Oh, Corey. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Here we are with Corey. <laughs> Y'all want to You want to introduce us first before we cheer in the house? I mean, how you gonna cheer? Okay, we can. Like, I guess I can. Are you gonna come in and say hello? <laughs> I thought you had this whole thing. Planned. No, I know. I know. I know. Okay. I just go with it. All right, let's just go with it then. What's up, Corey? How you doing? So, you, Corey. <laughs> who am I sitting here with today? You can't introduce us? Okay. <coughs> Run that back. Um, <laughs> apparently, I'm not as great of an interviewer <laughs> as I thought I was. So, you guys, today, as I mentioned before, I'm sitting here with my homies. Um, I was like family, brother and sister. Case in point is what he's being called. And his beloved fiance, Amore. Hey guys, <laughs> say Thanks, hello. Hey, love that was a beautiful hey, introduction. Love, love it. It's at That's the end cool. now. But. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for finally introducing us. We're the people that she was interviewing. Yes. Thanks for really? watching.